Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to do an update. It's just morning. There's crying involved. This is not easy for me to film. Um, so, I was going to do an update today of how um, Socks is doing and stuff. Um, yeah, so I, before I tell you what's going on and stuff, or what happened, um, I'm going to do a little story time, um, talking about socks and what she's been through, um, and stuff like that, then you, you get the whole picture and all that stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, it's still morning, um, just bear with me. Um, anyways, um, uh, my friend, my mom's friend, I'm just going to say that because she doesn't watch YouTube, but I don't want to say her name, um, lived in Everett. Um, I think this was 2000 and... 18 or so, um, don't know, but somewhere around there, um, we got a call from her, and she said, I found this dog, and I know these people that had this dog, um, and she, we went there, saw the, saw the dog, it was so horrid. Um, I I suppress she survived. Um, so the story I'm gonna take a step back. Story behind Chihuahuas are there are different types of Chihuahuas. People kind of there's people that breed Chihuahuas. And they want the Pacific type of Chihuahuas to have, or to sell, or that kind of stuff. Um, the ones, I don't know everybody or so, but these people in general had socks. Socks had other siblings. They were the perfect kind they wanted. Socks came out to be a deer head, except an apple head. Deer heads are not very popular. I don't know why. They're just dogs. Chihuahuas are just chihuahuas. Who, whatever they are, they should be loved. Um, but anyways, she was the rent of the family. Um, so back to her story. So she was the rent of the family. Um, and their three-year-old son at the time um, jumped on her popped her hip, I think it's her left or right, left or whichever side, I can't remember, um, so, of course, they didn't care for her, they didn't take care of her hip, they didn't feed her, basically, she escaped, and, and my mom's friend saw her, in her area, snatched her up. Thank God she did because Socks was so malnutrition. She was so skinny. Um, this is the best picture I can get that she looked like. Um, the date is wrong. Don't worry about the date. Um, but this is the first day we got her, and you can tell she was skinny. Um, well. At that time, she, that was, she was kind of still skinny, but she was so skinny that you could see her, um, like, rib cage and all that stuff, so, I thank God that we, not us, but my mom's friend that saw her, snatched her up, and called us, because we wanted a dog at the time, and it's hard with, you know, human societies, they always cost a lot, and they always have to make sure that your 
yard or stuff that you're qualified that it's kind of stupid but i understand the situation but anyways um so we got her um we i think we took her to vet and all that stuff um so yeah that's her little backstory i honestly i would have like called animal control or so and say hey there is a problem at this house we rescued a dog that was abused and you know because of what she was anyways but we didn't do that i wish we did um because those people need to get their life together and think about what they're doing to animals um especially chihuahuas um anyways and we kept her name socks because they're little white paws um anyways she was the sweetest 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 chihuahua i know not all chihuahuas are perfect um and i know the ones that nip and yap and all that stuff you know that's the way of them protecting themselves um so luckily she she was scared when we saw her and got her she was scared it took a long time for her to adjust and um really feel like she was loved in the right home um so yeah um on this current day Sorry, just give me a moment. See Wednesday. Let's see. Monday and Tuesday was her worst day. That like that day that I did the video, you could hear her, and then you know I was trying to calm me, you know, calm her down and, and stuff. And you know I almost didn't want to make the video. I just wanted to like you know focus on her and stuff. <laughs> So, those were two worst days. Some days she has good days, and then some, like, a little bit like that, or so she has her worst or kind of bad days. But these two days were her worst. Um, Wednesday, I had a great day at work. Um, come home, I had to give her, she was fine, and then she started hurting, and I gave her a pill and, you know, that kind of stuff. And whatever else I can, you know, try to, to, you know, help her. And it was getting so bad, like, the other two days. Um, and then my mom got home. We had dinner. Um, and then we talked about it. And mom wanted to wait until February 1st when we had the money to go to a different vet. Um and see what they say um but my mom realized that night she even checked she even looked around and stuff uh, uh excuse me when she was let me just get this off um anyways i'm half blind if you notice i'm i really can't see that far so um, anyways, um, okay, anyways, um, is, is she realized that there's no help, um, vets will say the same thing, um, so Wednesday, Wednesday night we made a decision on Mom's gonna, she called, let's see, we made a decision on 
putting her down Friday or today. No, Thursday or Friday. Um, and then Thursday morning, mom um decided to call um the vet that we take her in. Um, and she came upstairs. I the last thing I did to sock that day that morning was take her out. And just hold her. In her last kissing on my face. That morning, we went in. We said our last goodbyes. I hold her with, they put, um, and I'm stuck to numb the body. And I hold her. I felt like I was holding a rag doll when she was so numb. But it was nice that we had a couple moments with her. And then the lady tried to put the needle in. Of course, our dog has her thin veins, skinny veins. Um, but when she finally found a vein, it's just a few drops of that stuff that puts them asleep. She, she was, she was gone. Her heart stopped immediately. Um, uh, but her insides were still, you know, going. Um, so, yeah. She died, yes, she died Thursday, and I didn't go to work yesterday. Um, I'm not going to work on Wednesday, but hopefully Friday, we'll see how I feel. Um, I'm doing okay, we're doing okay. It's so hard, I still look. Um, yesterday I took a nap, and I vividly and purely heard her yelp in my dream. Um, also, that day we put her down. I got home and my mom went to work. She was okay. She needed to go to work. Um, two seconds or so, the sun came out. It was a way of her saying thank you. She is pain free. She's in heaven. She has no thyroid. Not thyroid, but um, arthritis. If we kept her even longer, her good leg would go on, would gonna gone out, and she would be seriously in worse pain. So, sorry all the sobbing. Um, just bear with me if I don't make a couple videos. Um, I just want to get this out there for you guys if you, you kind of care about what's going on. Um, and this is why I am MIA and yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, I love you guys. Um, I think that's all I have to say. Um, be safe. Take care of your pets the best you can. Take care of your family. Um, I hope you guys have a good day. And I'll talk to you guys when I feel better, feel up to it. Um, so yeah. I love you guys. Bye.